on to a special location, and before I get to that, you're here for a very specific reason, the Jimmy Johnson IndyCar test. Who could have thought at the beginning of the year that the first IndyCar would be piloted by Jimmy Johnson that I would see drive around this hollowed speedway in 2020, but 2020 is such a weird year. Uh, it was an interesting test. There wasn't a whole lot of running, but I have some thoughts and I have some inside information to tell you about this particular test and what it may mean for the future. But first, let's talk about this location. We are here in one of the greatest places, in my opinion, on the face of the earth, the Indianapolis Motor Speedway Museum. Now, they've got a new exhibit coming and they let me in here to tell you about it. Uh, you may see behind me is the car that finished in the third position in the 1991 Indianapolis 500 driven by Ari Leindyke. Uh, this is a car that I didn't even know existed and couldn't believe it when I saw it in here. It's going to be a part of a new exhibit uh, paying tribute to the Granatelli family. It's going to be very bright as you can see. Bright oranges, bright pinks, uh, lots of bright colors because of course Andy Granatelli, the patriarch of that family, uh, was uh, kind of the, the head honcho at the STP Corporation. If you know STP, you know their association with racing. You should definitely come into the Indianapolis Motor Speedway Museum. Uh, they're a not-for-profit organization separate from the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, uh, so it's, it's always important to support them. They've done some great measures uh, in addition with the Indianapolis Motor Speedway to promote social distancing and make you feel safe here. And also, they've got the From the Vault exhibit as well, uh, which is just a bunch of amazing cars that have come from the basement. I know everybody uh, gets really excited when the basement is mentioned. Uh, so definitely come here. Uh, they didn't pay me or anything for this endorsement. They just let me film in front of this amazing car. I'm so excited. But what's perhaps more exciting to you guys is Jimmy Johnson and the fact that he was in an Indy car for Chip Ganassi Racing today. Now, as I kind of predicted, he was in the NTT data car, not the PNC bank car. It makes a lot of sense because, of course, NTT is the title sponsor of the series and we're at the series owner, Roger Penske's track. But this is a little bit of a nugget of information I got today. And again, take it with a grain of salt, can't 100% confirm it, but apparently Jimmy Johnson fronted a significant, if not the entire portion of the bill to make this test happen today. Now, what does that mean? Well, we had speculated about who was the driving motivation behind this. Obviously, Zach Brown's kind of out of the, the picture at this point uh, with Jimmy Johnson. Was this Chip Ganassi giving him a tryout? Was this Roger Penske trying to get some promotion for the series? Or, and what this is more sounding like now, is this Jimmy Johnson trying himself out to find out whether he's got what it takes? Well, does he? Didn't get a great sense, at least as a spectator, of what Jimmy Johnson can or cannot do in an IndyCar. The times he was running looked like pretty much any other IndyCar driver I've ever seen. I've been watching races at this particular track, the Indianapolis Road Course, since 2014. He looked like pretty much any other driver. He did make some mistakes today. He spun a couple of times, locked up the brakes, but that's to be expected when you haven't driven an IndyCar before. But I think Jimmy Johnson made some great progress today considering where he's starting from. The problem is he didn't run that many laps, and that's something I want to stress. Uh, it could have been a physicality issue, it could have been a heat issue. It could have been a budget issue. We don't really know why that is, but it seemed like in terms of a test day, it was a lot more lean than you may have thought. Um, now, that being said, I've kind of thought this from the beginning, and I think one of the reasons he came here was because of the Harvest Grand Prix doubleheader, which is happening in October, especially if Jimmy isn't in the playoffs, which is looking more and more like a distinct possibility the later we get into the year. Uh, could Jimmy do an, a, a race at the end of this year? I think that's a very strong possibility. Certainly, he's talking about running IndyCar races, particularly possibly a full road course season next year. And there was also rumblings about him doing an Indy 500 run. We were even seeing some signs that maybe he might have taken a lap on the oval today. Believe it or not, we even saw a, a small trailer come in with Chip Ganassi logos on it that certainly looked like there was a car inside. There's some interesting things happening here. Uh, we don't know for sure what the future is going to hold with Jimmy Johnson, but here's kind of how I can conclude it for today. He didn't crash the car. He looked fairly comfortable, uh, as comfortable as you can you know, reasonably expect a racing driver to look with their first time in a race car, and he had incredible help. Scott Dixon, Mike Hall, Chip Ganassi, all the heavy hitters are standing you know, meters away from us uh, in our current position breaking down and helping Jimmy Johnson through this process. 
And you just got to think, no matter who's fill, filling the bill or footing the bill for this, that Jimmy's probably sooner rather than later going to be in an IndyCar. The question is going to be, where is that going to be? And that's going to be a debate for the comments section down below. So a historical day here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. I'm so happy to be back. So happy to see cars on this racetrack. Can't wait for the weeks to come where I'm going to be getting a lot of time, a lot of personal time with this racetrack. And I hope you guys are going to be here with me. And if you'll excuse me, I'm just going to continue to drool over this 91 Lola. What a fantastic machine. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more IndyCar and auto racing content. This has been David Land on YouTube, and I'll see you in the next video.